outside of what was mentioned on like the FHA streamlined video, you're hitting up as many avenues as you possibly can, right? I literally would leave a message on the cell phone. Since you guys can't text them, I'd email them, routing it back to the cell phone. Like, hey, I just left a message at this number. Is this number still valid? If not, let me know where to send this information or something like that. And then I would even call their work number, hoping that they picked up. If not, I'm gonna ask for them, right? And then when they picked up and I called them at work, I'm like, you know what? I apologize. <laughs> My name is Daniel. We actually have this as your home number, yeah. right? It's almost like an admin error, but it gives you a route in. And you just say, hey, quickly, I don't want to bother you while I work. You know, again, I'm with Mr. Cooper and we sent you some information. It's time sensitive and we never got a response. So we just want to make sure this email still works. Got it. I'm gonna update your profile. I'm gonna make sure that we don't have this as your home number anymore, but your cell phone number is still this. Okay, great. So what I'll do is I'll text an email. Please reply to the email. It is again, time sensitive and the campaign expires at the end of this month. Like it's already in motion. You're not asking them if you can help them, but you know, those creative strategies will help you make contact a little bit more. And now it's just all about the creativity of the body of the message. So like the email that you shoot out, you know, it says something along the lines of, Hey, Renil, this is Daniel. I've actually been assigned to your case. I am with Mr. Cooper and I'm licensed to release the time sensitive information regarding your eligibility for the campaign that we have that expires at the end of this month. Something to that effect, right? Before I send you the details, can you please confirm this email is still valid? Please reply or call me, right? Same thing with the voicemail. So I call voicemail I'm like, hey, Renil, this is Daniel. I just sent you a very important email regarding your mortgage. My name is Daniel. I've been assigned to your case. And there's some time sensitive information that we have not heard back from you. Please do reply to confirm. So they're both linking up to, they have to contact you, right? Yeah. And when they hear case, my case, they're going to be more curious, almost like they're fucking getting a lawsuit. And Why it's effective is two things. Number one is they call with fear. And then when you assure them that it's not, you know, anything bad, it's actually about an incentive or an entitlement that they have yet activated. Then it switches like, whew, okay, I feel good. But they anchor you with that feeling. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what do you got? Now they're more inclined to listen more. The only issue is just getting connected with them. And you got a pretty solid strategy with regards to converting them because those are lay downs, like portfolio streamlines. Those are lay downs. So you should be converting them at 80 to 90% because it's not a choice. Does that make sense? It's more like, Hey, you need to do something. This is happening right now. It's going to run out. I need to make sure that you're eligible, right? To activate that entitlement.